the first time that Arthritis Research UK has staged a major show garden at Chelsea and we're absolutely thrilled with the result. Everything we do at Arthritis Research UK is aimed at taking the pain away and enabling people to continue doing the things they love. Our supporters tell us that gardening is one of the things they most love to do. Not only does it give you the, the gentle exercise that's so important in keeping joints supple, but it's something that happens outside and that brings with it a sense of well-being, it's good for de-stressing and it just builds people's confidence. Arthritis Research UK gave me the really simple brief, rebirth. That was the only word. It was a fantastic brief to be given. And I translated it to mean renaissance, and hence we're doing an Italian renaissance garden. I've always been really fascinated by the, the renaissance period. Uh, in particular, two gardens, Villa d'Este and Villa Lante. I actually... Uh, went to Villa Lante on my honeymoon and have been in love with it ever since. Particularly uh, interested in the, 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 the techniques that they use, the design techniques they use to create these gardens. The High Renaissance period was all about man's desire to control nature and Villa d'Este and Villa Lante do exactly that. Their water features work on the thing called hydrostatic power the sheer height of water above everything else drives all the fountains and that's exactly what we've done here. I have my water cascade where the water comes in in its untamed form and then goes through a series of controlling fountains until it arrives at my destination pool well and truly tamed. Like the creators of the Renaissance Gardens I too use the golden section rule which is a a way of dividing up a space into harmonious proportions. But Villa Lante was created near the end of the late Renaissance period and at the beginning of the Mannerist period when artists distorted uh, proportion and they exploited it. And that's why I've got these huge eight metre tall uh, Italian cypresses that sort of disobey all the rules and tower over us as though dominating the garden. At the other end of the garden, I have my cork oak, which obeys no rules at all. It's completely natural, free-form thing. So we've got this whole opposing of man, who's in control, man or nature, going on within this garden. My planting in, in the Arthritis Research UK garden is um, quite naturalistic. It's plants that I have seen growing in Tivoli and Bagnaia and Viterbo. In Villa Lante and Villa d'Este, there are lots and lots of knots and parterres, which are sort of intricate patterns in topiary, very controlled, and it's meant to be a sort of abstracted form of the natural landscape going on around these gardens. But what I've done is turn the tables a little bit, as though nature was in control of these knots, and I've planted ribbons of pittosporum running right through the garden in a knot-like manner, but then planted self-seeding plants, plants that are quite wild looking and, and, and will just randomly go where they want to go. Although I didn't set out to design a garden for people who suffer from arthritis, there are elements of the garden that really do work. For example, I have sloped steps that are very easy to walk down. All my beds are at a comfortable working height. I've even got plants that are known to have a positive effect on arthritis symptoms, for example my pygmy borage. It's also important to remember that arthritis isn't just a disease that affects older people, it can affect children and teenagers. And that's why we're immensely proud that Laura Wright, who suffered from arthritis as a teenager, has agreed to be our latest charity ambassador and to sing on the garden today. Being part of Chelsea 2012 has been absolutely wonderful for the charity. If people walk away from the Arthritis Research UK Garden with a greater awareness of arthritis and the effect it has, 
then it'll have been a fantastic success, not only for us, but also for the one in six people with arthritis. Mm -hmm.